got that flexibility though. It I agree. It truly does. I didn't think about it that way. It doesn't have to be on a Sunday. It doesn't. As long as they get the game in and we can go 4 0. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Let's I do keep think, this winning streak going. I mean, you could just hear that collective sigh from Titans fans all over the mid state. Yes. You I know, mean, it was tough news yesterday. It truly was. Yeah. And listen, this is football weather though, isn't it? I mean, you can get those bulky sweaters out. It's time. You had on some cute boots earlier this week. I broke them out. <gasps> There's nothing better. You know, you finally feel like fall you is do. here. Calendar wise, yes, but it hasn't necessarily felt that way. But it is chilly outside this morning. If you're going to enjoy some front porch sitting, you're probably going to need the blanket on your little lap or even a heating pad because it is chilly. Here's a beautiful shot overlook at Music City. You can see that Batman building shining bright. 48 degrees. Winds are coming in currently out of our south right at seven miles an hour. Murfreesboro. You're at 49 to start off the morning and y'all we've got even some cooler temperatures out there. But let's talk fog yesterday. That was a huge concern, especially at the four o'clock hour this morning. It's the usual spots that we're dealing with it. Two miles over in Cookville, McMinnville, you're fluctuating between one and eight miles. So really keep a close eye out for you guys, as well as down going into Giles County areas close to waterways. You're also going to observe some fog because the water temperature is actually around 75 degrees and numbers outside the air temperature are in the 50s and few of you in the 40s. That's why you do have that visibility issue in a handful of spots. Comparing that to this time yesterday morning, that's a 10 degree drop in the Tri Cities as well as Chattanooga, five degrees cooler in Nashville. But what's it like in your particular backyard? It's cold, especially for our friends over in Cookville, 41. And I wouldn't be surprised if y'all did drop down around 39 before we did have daybreak. 48 over in Lafayette, 50 in Bowling Green, as well as Camden, Columbia. You're at 45. Lawrenceburg, you're coming in at 46 to kickstart the day. Not only are our temperatures low, but so are our dew points. And this is just a great indication our air is dry. And that means don't get too comfortable outside because these numbers will fluctuate dramatically throughout the day, especially since we do have clear skies with us. It's not only for Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. We've got mostly clear and dry conditions for majority of the US to start off the day and we're going to continue to stay nice and bright. So as we head around lunchtime, we'll be in the low 70s. After lunch, we'll be in the mid to upper 70s. Now overnight tonight, temperatures will then head back into the upper 40s and 50s. We'll have a dry cold front move in tomorrow, so no rain. And our next best chance of rain isn't until Sunday, and it's still pretty slim. So if you do have a garden, maybe you put out those pretty mums, they're going to need some love. Over the next seven days, here's what you can expect. The mix bag, 76 degrees for today. Temperatures will then head back into the upper 40s, low 50s tomorrow, 74 for the afternoon. That dry cold front comes through. You may not be able to see it, but you'll notice the wind shifts and you're definitely feeling it Friday and Saturday mornings where we'll be starting out in the low 40s plateau upper 30s afternoon highs will be topping out in the mid to upper 60s and then we head into Sunday. That's our slim chance for some showers and Amy, you'll notice we do warm back up right around 73 degrees heading into our Tuesday. So this is truly fall. There's a little bit of something for everyone. Enjoy it though, because before you know it, they'll be staying cold for a while. You're watching News Channel 5. Stay with us.